Rich, 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 rich wallet. What? What? Wallet. It, 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 wallet. Hey guys, you know it's so funny in life. You know I was playing that Bray improv. I meet fans after. It's fine. I don't have a lot, but um, <laughs> a lot of fans came up to me and they showed me their Ridge wallet. They really did. Damn. Hey, dude, I got one. I love it. You know, it's probably one of the products that like I'm just mostly proud to, to sponsor. To be honest with you, because I'll tell you why. It's slim. It's a front pocket wallet. Everyone knows that. Mm -hmm. But it comes in carbon fiber, titanium, and aluminum. And, you know, in the works, they're going to do dilithium crystals. Yep. Yeah, and they're also going to do adamantium eventually one day. (laughs) Insane. But before they get into that, um, you know, this really is the best wallet I've ever used in my whole entire life. Lifetime guaranteed, RFID protection, free shipping worldwide. Over 500,000 sold, guys. Wow. Yeah, it comes in a variety. It's oh. seriously like, um, it, you know, in a zombie comp- apocalypse, mm-hmm. you're going to need one of these. Why? Because if you go to 7-Eleven, you know what I mean? And you want your wallet and your, you know, and yeah. your cards to be there. Yeah. You know? That's all. That's what you got to have. <laughs> Tell them about it. Go to RidgeWallet.com and use the promo code BELLY for 10% off your sleek front carry wallet. Be the future and be ready for the zombie apocalypse. Ridge Wallet. The best wallet for your li- lives. Five. Slow it, though. Slow it down. Five. That's exactly how I want it. Four. That's it. Three. I'm almost there. Mm-hmm. Ew. Two. I'm about to, I'm about to come. God. One. Open your mouth. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I shit. <laughs> I shit. Fuck. Uh, welcome to another episode of what I like to call the Tiger Belly. Tiger Belly is an experience. It's life lessons. It's uh, nosotros. It's uh, science. It's it's all kinds of stuff. You learn things from here. You know, you think you learn things about life, trees. We know about anatomies of animals. We know about the culture. We know about politics and the inner workings of our dimensions. <laughs> We know we teach a lot, and a lot of people email me specifically. Go, thank you, um, Captain, for teaching me about whatever. And I go, you're welcome. You know stuff like that. Um, we've got a beautiful um, group of people in the room today. Um, we've got Kalila, my beautiful <laughs> girlfriend, life partner, and friend and lover, mm-hmm. a combo, a combo person. We've got. Gilbert. Now, what you did, Gilbert, Saturday? Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome, Captain. You're welcome, son. What'd he do? (laughs) He showed up for me. When people show up for me, it's a thank you. He wasn't around. So you don't get nothing today. You don't get hi. You don't get anything. Welcome back, by the way. (laughs) Okay. Uh, How was your trip? Fine? How was your trip? You seem fine. You look good. How was the country? Good? Nice vacation? You snazzed up your hair, eighty style. I like it, man. He has curls now. He has Jerry got curls. Jerry curls. Did yeah. you intentionally try to curl it, George? No. It's just that how that's how your hair goes. And, uh, well, we have a guest, guys. I thought we were gonna get David. So I'm like, D- dude, because I'm I'm gonna be getting real, real, dude. Like, I'm gonna be completely real. Yeah, fat yeah. David. So David. So is a fat, funny Korean guy. Know him, love him, love him, right? Mm. Jolly, gotta, gotta right? have it, yeah. Now, if you take 50 pounds away from that body, right, you get this piece of shit. <laughs> that was the exact number. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That was the exact number. I know it is. Now, now look at what you look like. A person. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. But you look too human. I look, I look like a fucking human being now. Yeah, I don't want you to look human, dude. I like the way you were. Well, so did I, but and my then kneecaps stop, did it, dude. And, 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 and I, I, fucking I, I, kneecaps were killing me. I know. My knees are shot. <laughs> and your fat went into this guy. I actually what had- What the fuck happened dude. to you? <laughs> what? He had a baby. Do you work in a boba factory? <laughs> oh, you had the baby yourself? Is that what happened? <laughs> you fuck, you look gross, man. Get your shit together, man. So, uh, David, so when, when's the last time you were here? Man, it's been a minute. Like, what, it's six hours? Don't get urban with me. I'll get urban back, dog. <laughs> you want me to get urban back, dog? That shit huh? made me feel really uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, dude. Yo, dude. Oh, my God. Huh? That's how I always talk. I know, but, you know, dwight it up, bro. Oh, yeah. 
<laughs> I'm Wyatt, bro. It's been quite a while. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I'm gonna add that H in me. Thank you. Thank you. It's been quite a while. It's been a year yeah. since we've seen you. And through your Instagram, I've been watching it, and I've been seeing that you're losing weight. You have a girlfriend? Yes. What's Same her name? One. Mariel. Mariel. Yeah, Mariel. Yeah, Mariel. Uh, how's Mariel? She's good. She's good. Yeah. She likes the she likes the skinnier David. Definitely. She does. Well, yeah, it's, it's kind of fucking annoying though. You know, just because like she uh <laughs> like the other day, because we don't see each other every day, so we mm-hmm. see each other about once or twice a week. Mm-hmm. So every week I'm losing a little bit of weight. So the other day she came over and I opened the door and she goes. Who's that? I'm like, it's me, you fucking bitch. Like, what the fuck are you talking about? So she doesn't, yeah. she doesn't get to see me consistently lose weight. Yeah. So for every time, you know, it's just. So are you, she can actually see like real change each yeah. time. Are you getting better roll? It, what, you, you're lose, it, No, aside from being healthy, mm-hmm. are you doing it to make it in Hollywood? I don't get it. Oh no, I'm, I'm I got that on ice right now. So I'm not really doing the whole acting thing. I'm doing the writing thing right now. So. Whoa. So you're doing the whole fucking. Uh, J.J. Abrams in a log cabin writing a fucking script kind of thing? No, I'm doing that in my room, but maybe. <laughs> <laughs> what are you writing, Dave? Uh, right now, yeah. I'm trying to sell uh, something for vertical platforms instead of just regular TV. So, Or it's so something for like... What? Like Facebook, Instagram, or anybody mm. else. I feel like that's going to be the next thing. So, Wow. That's a TV show, you think? Maybe. Yeah? What do you mean maybe? You're writing, right? Yeah, I mean, it really depends. I mean, I feel like just from... Yeah, I mean, we kind of like made it out to. It let's can go. To, it can go. It can go to TV. Let's just cut to the but chase. We can make it vertical if you want. I want to cut the chase. Let's do it. Am I going to be in it? Of course. <laughs> I'm. And I'm going to tell you right now, friend. All right, I'm sick and tired of this bullshit. <laughs> I'm sick and tired of you, Aquafina, your Jimmy O Yangs, you David So. I'm not even in that young, category. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> There's like Aquafina yeah, 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 and yeah, I'm you, right you here. young cats, man. Right, coming up in the world, right. And you don't give fucking Uncle Bob no love? I always give Uncle Bob I need Bob a love. fucking I need a fucking paycheck, bro. I need a paycheck. <laughs> <laughs> you put some clothes place. on and fucking go on an audition then. Nah, that's okay. All right. <laughs> so you 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 got something for Uncle Bob? Hey, if I get dude, I'll tell gonna... you what I want to play. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> right I want to play. Here's what I want. I don't want to move much. Right, so I don't want a mark. You know how you know when you're yeah. on a set, you have to have a mark. Yeah, I don't want any mark because I don't move. Okay, the cameras come to me. No mark. I don't want to move. I, I, how about this? I'm handicapped. It's I'm just in a wheelchair. Spin around you every single angle. Just like, like you so know, yeah. handicapped wheelchair, but also a shut in. Perfect. Right, I don't want to move a, in a, out of a room. Outside, he doesn't want sunlight. So I'm in a room. I'm, I am in a wheelchair. Right, I don't want to memorize nothing, say nothing, but I want to be second lead. You could just do a voiceover for a CG overweight cat. <laughs> like, no, 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 no! All you have to do is talk. No, 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 no! Like, I want to be in it. You will. Your no, I, no, I want my face to be in it. I want. I don't want to do no cartoon. I've been in cartoons, bro. The cat. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna look. The cat's gonna look, look like just you. like you. Well, you know, and, you, and you know what? We'll see about it. We'll see because I'm gonna say this right, and I'm not gonna name any names. But I've helped a lot of cats in my in my career. <laughs> like actual cats? cats? Yeah. Three. Yeah. No, no, not cats, but like humans. Oh. In showbiz, and they've all made it. Okay. No, don't do that, babe. I'm surprised you I, haven't written something. You have such a well. I, yeah, life. I'm sorry. Um, I'm on a TV show right now. Yeah, but you can. No, I, I don't have time right now. Yeah, I, I agree. <laughs> I agree. Okay. When Papa has the time, Papa will do. Okay. I'll do. tell you what happened to me, Papa, today, man. What happened? All right. Last day of shooting, before le- you know, two month hiatus. I have emotional teen uh, scene with um, Jenna and Oliver crying. And it's a, you know, it's times running out. You can feel the tension in the room. We gotta get this. You know, you can hear it, right? They go action. Oliver says, you know, they get teary. Jenna, and then all of a sudden, bring, 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 bring. My fucking phone goes off. Oh, that's your ringtone. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> yeah. old phone. It's old phone. <laughs> it, says yeah. it says Nokia on it. <laughs> it's, not- <laughs> yeah. it's a flip. Um, and this lady is calling me. You never have your ringer on. I know, but what the fuck are you calling me for during our scene? To make sure that you're here on time. Yeah, so I told that you David I was going to be here, wait. Kalila. Bring, bring, know. bring, bring. And then all of a sudden, you? what happened? Oh my God. Cut. Who the fuck? Uh. Like it was one of those. And I'm frantically trying to, you know what I mean? Because if I do this, I talk to her. So I'm trying to turn off the fucking thing, right? Yeah. And everyone's all fucking pissed off, bro. How come your phone's on? I love how, yeah, I love how that's my fault. <laughs> Because I have to play my games between takes. Ah, 
That makes complete sense. There we, there we go. With right? sound? Yeah, with sound. You so need... that does that make sense to you, David? Yes, because I was wrong for asking that question. <laughs> See, and that's why, that's why I came you're, back you're winning. <laughs> you're coming back the third time. You're winning, and that's where you're going to make it. Thank you. Because you're a yes man, and I like it. Yes right? man. Uh, are these other cowards in this room, right? Like this spineless white nothing. <laughs> Right, this jellyfish. This jellyfish. <laughs> yeah, 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 this fucking yeah, this translucent man. white piece of shit, man. Oh man. Right, he's not a yes man. He's getting there. Yeah, she's definitely not. He's a no man. Mm-mm. And this new fat guy in back of me, I have no idea. <laughs> mysterious. It's mysterious. Where's Bryce? Yeah, where is my friend? He's on Stevie. Oh, my brother's doing it his right now too. Yep. Uh huh. Is he a traitor? Even if he goes to your brother's uh, podcast? No. Because that's family. Oh, nice. And I'm good to, my, to good to my family. That's morals. It is, right? I like it. Yeah. So what have you been doing this last year? Honestly, I've just been losing weight. <laughs> that's like... Been, what, what have you been doing, though, to lose weight? Walking. That's it. He actually, right? I'm not even lying yeah, to you. Walking just been walking. really good for weight loss, babe, and it doesn't yeah. fuck up your knees either. Because like, like, typically what I used to do is I used to think that I am somebody that I'm not. So I would, <laughs> I, I would go into the gym and I look at Bart and I'm like, I'm Bart. So I, w- I would hit these weights yeah. and then I would end up in the hospital. <laughs> and yeah. so I decided to just tone it down the opposite way and just start walking. Yeah. And so I just walked like three, four miles a day. Every, really? Yeah, every day. So you wake up, you go, I'm gonna, dr- I'm gonna walk three miles. Oh, where, no, do you, where does one go? It's whenever. It doesn't have to be in the morning. It's just whenever. Well, whenever during the day. You know what I mean? All right. Well, you decide to do it. In the neighborhood. We're in the neighborhood. Yeah. You have a route? Yeah, I have a route. All right, dog. That's all be planned. What's going Why are we getting aggressive? <laughs> That's all be planned. Where are you going? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I just want to know your fucking routine, it's, bro. It's the, it's the same routine. I wake up, and then sometimes I do it in the morning. If not, if I don't get it done in the morning, I do it at night. Yeah. And then I'm just that creepy guy in the neighborhood. Oh, I be- yeah, I like those. Like, creepy guys? Um, no, the like old Asian couples. They. Um, oh, I used you. to work at the <laughs> Abercrombie you. and the Glendale Galleria. And we would close the shops. Everything would be closed. You'd see like Asian couples just walking, doing their cardio in the that's, mall. That's me. Mm. That is me. But they're faster than I am. <laughs> I'm substantially slower than them. <laughs> but you know what? You look different. Thank you. <laughs> fifty pounds will. But can I say something? And I want to say something. Yeah. Okay. You look more handsome. Thank you. But you you lost the f- little bit of the funny look. It's true. Yeah. Like before, when I used to look at you, you would just laugh. I just cackle like a hyena. You know what I mean? Because you look so weird and funny, right? Like when I when you know people see me, they cackle like hyenas. No, that's not because, true. Yeah, they do. Because I'm pudgy and I'm mm. weird looking and I, you know, I, you think you're weird looking? I move I move weird, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah, that's true. Yeah. Like I do this, you know what I mean? And people go, like I do this. Yeah, I like, right? And people go, what? I do that. You know I, mean? <laughs> <laughs> I make noises. <laughs> right? And people love it, right? But now, you know, you look handsome now. You know, you're more now in the category of John Cho, Stephen Yoon, than Ken, Jung, than Ken Jung, me, you know, there's nothing that Ken Jung can do to make himself look sexy. <laughs> <laughs> his, his frame is fucked. Well, what do you have to do though? Nothing. nothing. The, he, his bones are fucked. He's, he's a <laughs> tiny guy though. He's, like, he's small, very... frail, bony. Yeah. And he physically assaulted me one time in a real <laughs> physical fight. Was it and I would crush his fucking cheekbones in. <laughs> well, you guys actually got into a fight before? Yeah. Over what? I feel oh, like it's a long beat up story. all Asian comedians. Like who? <laughs> like that fan? Who? Like, <laughs> <laughs> uh, big fan of his. Some people in this room aren't. But why? Do you, but I'm a big fan of that fan. Uh, I didn't know that. I mean, you see the picture behind him? Big fan. Look at the photo, dude. Do we have a fo- frame photo, dude? Do we have a framed photo, dude? I like how you pointed at the picture, but you chose to block it with your head. <laughs> like, <laughs> right there, the best friends forever, dude. You know. So you, so this year you've been walking a lot, you've been writing, yeah. right? And that's it. You must have been doing other things. Yeah, I mean, work wise. I mean, yeah, I mean, after I did the the film, and, Gook. Yeah, and then I tried the whole the whole acting thing, and you know, I'm still doing it, but I kind of needed to take time for. I think I just burnt out. But you must have got from that movie. You must have got a lot of like auditions and stuff. Oh, a bunch. Yeah. Yeah. And did you land anything? No, just callbacks. That's it. So. Oh, that's so disheartening. It's okay. Like I, I really don't give a fuck. <laughs> I, I thought I would care a little bit more. So the first audition that I went to, I think I mentioned that I was devastated. But you kind of get scabbed over after that. 
So after a while, I would go in and I'm like, hmm, it was pretty terrible. <laughs> and I would just, walk, yeah, I would just yeah. walk out. Yeah. And then at that point, you just kind of just, it is what it is. And I think like what I found out too, some of the best actors, they just suck at auditioning. Yeah. Their auditioning mm-hmm. skills aren't great, you know, yeah. but they're great actors. And so I just, I mean, I was like trying to figure out what everybody else I've wanted. never been able to do it. And I've talked about it before. I don't want to get into it now, but like I, I've just never been able to figure that out. That's the one question. I get so nervous for some reason. It's just not what I would do normally, you know. I'm not. I'm the opposite because I don't get, get cocky. Nervous. I get angry because I kind of go to the room and I'm like, "Who the fuck are you?" You know what I mean? Like, how do you get Whoa. the judge? How do you get the judge whether I get to be? Are you a good actor? Like, what the fuck do you do? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And yeah, then yeah. I go That's in. A good and, mentality. And then I don't book it. And then I'm like, maybe the aggressiveness. Yeah, wasn't maybe smile. <laughs> 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 It's for like a comedy role. I come in, I'm like, let's fucking get this over with. All right. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's your energy shit. in there? No, I'm actually very. Yeah. <laughs> yes, man. Yes, man. I'm, I'm pretty much a yes, man when I go in. But in my mind. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I do a thing where I'm like, um, you know, like I don't know what I'm doing and I'm just, like, I'm shy. When I walk into a room, even though they clearly know who you are, no, they don't, they, dude. They do. You're Bobby Lee. Everybody knows who no, you are. No, I'm gonna tell you why people don't know who I am. Can I tell you why I know? Yeah. When we were at that Korean barbecue right by the Bray Improv, <laughs> yeah, 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 right, they treated me like shit. Oh, that Korean guy. Yeah, because you don't you don't speak Korean. That's why. Yeah, but if you knew who I was, and he would treat me better. But he was like, wait, our server. Yeah, he that's was why I was good. too. Nice. No, that's why I was too afraid to he, ask for more kimchi. No, that was he was. Just, you know what? He treated <laughs> Do you remember us. That? He didn't want to no, answer. I didn't want. I kept really? asking. I go to. Je- I, I go. Uh, uh, what's her? Jessica. Jessica. Ask for more kimchi. Ask she go. Why don't you do it? I go. He doesn't like me. No. Ask I for think the sesame oil. I don't want to. Yeah, yeah. Remember if that? a host doesn't go above and beyond. Um, oh. Or recognizes him, he thinks that it's bad service. But the guy actually was really good. Oh, you're used to being a hot chick. That's why. Yes. That's the hot chick syndrome. Yes. You stop. <laughs> Hem- stop. Hammer time. Okay. Well, wasn't he nice? He was a no, standard. Stop. Right? Standard. Stop. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's this. Is here's what it is. Is that? Oh, can you get some rice? He uh, he go. Yeah. He gets it. Comes back. But he had a thunder. And you go, can we get some more kimchi? As soon as he comes back at the rise, I can sense in his he- beyond his you know, eyes, there's a like, <laughs> fuck, why don't you say that when, you know what I mean? When you ask for the fucking rice. Why didn't you? Because I forgot. My point though is, is that when I go into a restaurant, I want them to go, yeah, you can ask whatever you want as many times as you but want. But you got to be responsible when you're ordering too. You can't be like, can I get the sesame oil? And then he comes back, oh, can I also get the salt? And then like five other things afterwards. Yeah, I can do whatever I shot. want. Do you know why? Because you're paying. Because you're a hot I'm chick. I'm paying. Because I'm a hot chick? Mm-hmm. <laughs> find the camera. Find yeah, the yeah, camera. Yeah, yeah. Find yeah, the I'm camera. Find the camera. All right. I ain't got no pussy. Okay? <laughs> I ain't got no pussy. I'm a man. Okay? And I, I'm not in there like a hot chick. I'm in there with uh, it's a human being just trying to get my fucking rice. Uh, I thought that was gonna be a lot. Oh, never mind. No, that was yeah. good. Yeah, okay, that was it. Okay, That's what I was gonna yeah, do. A little fucking monologue yeah, yeah. for us. Do you like yeah. it? You're a good man. Yeah. How do you yeah. not book these roles, dude? <laughs> <laughs> it's unreal. It's pretty I don't fucking have good. No pussy. It's pretty <laughs> good. Got a little southern there. I yeah, got, I no, got no, pussy. no pussy. I've never heard anybody say pussy like that. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Unique. It's it's so thank you. I've been to the south. Yeah, I've done my work. Oh, Bobby. Before we get to that. Tell them about the sponsor. Oh, my God. I'm going to tell you about this thing called hymns.com, guys. <gasps> and what it is is this. is I've said this before, and I'll say it again. Back in the day when there was no internet and I was a young man, I needed this site. I was losing my hair. My oh. dick wasn't working. Really? Yeah, and I couldn't afford to get any like medical treatments about anything. Oh, right? man. But now what you can do is if you're a young man or an old man, whatever you're, you're rocking these days, <laughs> right, and you have problems like hair loss, Things that men, you know, have problems with, mm-hmm. or their their dick ain't working. What mm-hmm. they call an impotence. Yeah, the imp- yeah. Disease. If they have mm-hmm. impotence, you can talk to real medical experts on this site. They give you real medical advice. Your hair's looking weird. You know, you're losing hair like you're 22, but you look like Ron Howard. They can also. <laughs> right? That's right. really bad. Yeah, it's really That's bad really situation. Bad. That's you know. Not good. You're, or, you're 16. You're, you're like, oh, I, I look like Andre Agassi. Oh, yikes. Yeah, yikes, right? <laughs> so what I'm saying to you is, is that take care of your problems. Your dick ain't working. There are medical pro- treatments for it. You know, hair, whatever. So I'm saying, tell them about it. Guys, 
Don't be, like Andre, don't be like Andre Agassi. Don't, or Ron Howard. Or Ron Howard. Order now. Tiger Belly listeners get a trial month of hams for just $5 today right now while supplies last. See website for full details. This would cost hundreds if you went to the doctor or a pharmacy. Go to 4 slash belly. That's F-O-R-H-I-M-S. Can I just say one last thing? Please. A lot of times these things, you know, it's just like some sort of like, you know, um, snake oil pills or gas station counter supplements. You know how you go to like 7-Eleven? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. There's a big gigantic purple pill. It's like a goat in the front of the bottle. Yeah, right, yeah, yeah, right, yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. And there's some guy with abs in it. Yeah. 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 Take it, my dick's big. You I know? don't know. I don't trust it. Right? It's not real, right? This hymns, they have fucking prescription solutions backed by pure scientific evidence. Science alert all day. All day. So that's that's I really wanted to state that. Please, thank you so thank much. You're welcome. What's the website again? Yeah. That's forhams.com slash belly. Forhams.com slash belly. Get it. Now back to the show. I can see the where it goes. It just goes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. I ain't get no pussy. It's Korean people are interesting though. Like if you if you go to a Korean restaurant and you're not Korean, they do not give you good service. That's true. A hundred percent. That is true. Like I've literally walked into a restaurant. My friend Vince walked before me. He goes, hey, can I get, they walk past him and they're like, how many tables would you like? And they literally pushed him aside. Yeah, yeah, I love yeah. it. Like he was trash. And that's why I go to Korean restaurants with my white friends. <laughs> hey, I, do, I literally do. I, I do because it's like they want me, I, finally, I have some responsibility. And finally, I can hold court. Oh, I see. Right? And like be cool. Do you they know get mad mean? at you when you don't speak Korean though? Come, come to me. You're, you're a waiter. Come to me. Okay. 안녕하세요. 안녕하세요. 어. 음. 갈비 두개 주세요. 이거 개새끼 씨발. No, no, no. <laughs> that doesn't that's not going to fly what I just said. Oh, okay. okay. No, no, no. Wait, no, I'm asking you would that fly? <laughs> yes, it would. All right. Um, 갈비 두개 주세요. 음, 음. 밥 두개 주세요. 음. 김치찌개 하나 주세요 and uh, 다이어트 하나 주세요. Yeah, 알겠습니다. You <laughs> see? <laughs> or is that or in their mind are they going to go this white guy's trying to yeah, 몇 분이세요? 몇 분? Mepon, uh, six people. All right. <laughs> he just you just like, want to trick me, fuck not? I like how you just like bailed out at the end. <laughs> six, six people. people. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Mepon is how many, right? Uh, that's right, right, that's yeah. what, right, that's what you said, right? Yeah, Try to trick me. Go ahead with Korean. Try to trick me uh-oh, with Korean. <laughs> Go ahead. I'll be honest with you, my Korean yeah. No, that's right. That's <laughs> right. <laughs> just try. Just try. I love this. Like two, two Koreans, Nazis. Koreans. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't care. I want to try, yeah. Go ahead. 안녕하세요. 안녕하세요, 네. Let's put this here. Uh, uh, Sege. Sege. Sege? Uh, Saddam. Sam Young? Uh, nah. You're a thug. She got the sick. <laughs> What'd you say there? Uh, I said, this is kind of retarded. <laughs> no, before that, though. <laughs> oh, I said, uh, Mem Young. So how many? How many? People? I said three. You Sege. Sege is not for people. Myung. So if you Wait, what's Sege mean? Sege is for objects. <laughs> I said three objects? Yeah, said three. yeah, but I'm not with people. I was like, how many people? No, I'm like- not with people. I'm with the stool. <laughs> I, have, I have a lamp lamp with me and I have a fucking um, ottoman. I wonder like sometimes when I... Yeah, when so we, it's a three. When we speak like this broke Korean, I, I feel like they look at us like we're the dumbest people on earth. Because I would do shit like that. I'd be like, Sege. And they're like, this person just said three objects. Get the fuck out of here. Oh, yeah? You know what I say to them after that? I go, yeah, I'm um, a fat Korean guy on national TV. Yeah. Oh, you announced no, no, just shut the fuck up, man. All right? <laughs> I don't got no pussy. What? I didn't say that yeah, last yeah, time, did you? Pussy, I know, you pussy. pussy. There you go. I don't got no pussy. <laughs> you know? It's so wet. And can I say, it's I a wet pussy, dude. It's big. It's like a wet cave. Oh, let me say something God. right now. Let me say something right now to everyone in this room, okay? It, it, and, I, and I don't, you know, I'm a humble person. And I love to live in the light. Am I not right? With the largest wink ever that everybody saw. <laughs> what? I'm a humble person. I'm a humble person. And I, right? But I'm going to be honest with you, dude. There are times I have low self-esteem and I get sad and I get depressed and I get suicidal. At times. I do. I'm human. Mm-hmm. Okay? I'm a human being. With okay. a pussy. With a pussy. pussy. <laughs> okay? But what I want to say to you, do I also know what I've done. Right? Mm. So don't, you know, you're Korean. Mm-hmm. Am I at a restaurant? Don't look down on me. That's all I'm saying. That's it. That was a good monologue. The monologues are getting better. Dude. I know. Yeah. They're getting longer. And I actually better. felt that, dude. <laughs> No, I'm just trying to be real with you, dog. You know, I'm being Urban Bob. Oh. You're just playing. <laughs> you know what I mean? Raising it. Did you, um, do you always eat at, like Korean barbecue? Is that like your main thing? Yes. Is that like your main thing, like Korean barbecue? No, I, I eat, fuck you, man. I eat all kinds of shit. What the fuck? <laughs> fuck you, man. You know what I eat, man? I'll tell you my, the places I eat. You know, you know, this in two weeks, this is where I'll go. 
Uh, Connie and Ted's. Seafood. Seafood. Okay. Okay. I'll go to, um, what's that cat place? Cat place. Hungry right. cat. Hungry cat. Oh. Seafood. Seafood. Okay. Right? <laughs> I was like, I don't right? know what the wink means. Yeah, yeah, the wink means life. Okay. To you, my friend. All right. Okay. Hungry cat. I go to fucking Connie and Ted's. I'll go to, um, I'll go to, um, Jujutsu. 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 Mm-hmm. What's that place last night I went to? Jujutsu. Which? Jujutsu. Oh, Sujita. Sujita. Oh, su- oh, ramen. 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 Because oh, yeah, yeah. they close at two in the morning. Mm. And sometimes I'll go to the annex and sometimes I'll go across the street. Mm. Okay, so that's Don't ramen. they have a third one now? Yeah, they have right a, a killer area. ramen. Oh, you go. You get the suke men, right? The dip. Yeah, the dipping. Get the dipping. Yeah. That's all kind of get. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, 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 yeah you get yeah, it? Yeah, you know so. Okay. And then I'll go to sometimes that udon place. What's that called? Margarine. Uh-huh. Oh, that place and you know what I got today, guys? And this is, you know, your lucky boy, you know, in the books, it has the best breakfast burrito. Who, mine? Yeah, lucky boy. You just like the way it's like tightly wrapped. But there's a place that's better. I feel like you don't need vegetables. Country <laughs> Cottage. <laughs> Country Cottage in Burbank. If you guys live in LA, go to Country Cottage, get their breakfast burrito. B- fucking rivals Lucky Boy. Mm-hmm. I went there today, dog. You're talking about Lucky Boy drive-in in uh, Pasadena? Yeah. yeah. It's not a drive-in uh, That's anymore. the best breakfast um, burrito, one of the best breakfast burrito in LA. It's not one of my favorites. And yes, I do like really? vegetables. Because you train right by there, right? Yeah, it's just Lucky Boy driving. Like, I think the thing I don't like about it is that the cheese is not melted. When you get In the, the, the burrito. Um, burrito? Yeah. Like sometimes it comes out cold, sometimes it doesn't. Oh, yeah. I've never had it not melted. You have cross eyes. <laughs> you know that? Can. You're one of those gooks. <laughs> You're one of them gooks that fucking cross eyes. Why don't you come eyes. train with us? Ooh. Who? You and what? With, with, with the fucking mutant Bart? No, they do Muay Thai and that sub mutant that you, you hang did wrestling. That I want, sub I want, mutant that you hang out with Bart Kwan. I bet you could. I bet you could tap Bart out. Yeah, you probably could. I bet you He's could. He's a yellow thumb, <laughs> yellow Joe Rogan. <laughs> but you, yeah, he but is. You wrestled and you were good. I was real good, dude. Your brother always talks about. Yeah, you. yeah. Like my good. balance is off the chain, bro. I heard you have like a solid five seconds at the beginning. What do you <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I do, man. But after that five right. seconds, it's a little. It's yeah, a little yeah, shaky. it's a little rough. I can do. I can do a thing where you're on top of me, dude, and I'll roll you. 100%. I believe it. I will roll you. I'm, I'm, I'm frail as fuck. Okay. So I am tough in that way and I'm strong. I have HRS. Everyone knows that. Mm-hmm. You know what HRS is? <laughs> I think it means human retard strength. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> That's exactly what it means. I and you, think. Because you get it. You don't think, you know. And you get it. Right? I'm like a chimp, bro. You step, you step at me, dude, I'll break a cheekbone with my fingers. What do you think? I, All right? I'm I getting was, aggressive right now, dog, with you. I was agreeing he with you. He just asked you to train. I love. Oh, all right. But I was agreeing with you. I want you to come I'm in. I'm here. I'm to, sorry. I want you to teach us. Uh huh. And I want to let people know, just FYI, okay. Oh, today is National Molestation it Day. Is to it nas- is today is That's National Molestation, molestation Day. No, no this is oh. when he was molested. That oh, was I was like, was what the fuck? <laughs> that was when I was molested. <laughs> I was like, people are weird. And um, you know the me. guy that molested me was a guy with Down syndrome, and he used he to strong. lure me. He used to be lure me with fun dip. You were that easy? <laughs> yeah, I was at nine. Yeah, but he was also at Down syndrome. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. Like, I want to know what that conversation was like. I know, I know. Because most people, you have to manipulate them, right? Yeah. Like, you want some candy? This guy just went, fuck you. I just did it. That was, that was the end of the story. <laughs> but, um, but then some fucker sent me a fucking 50 bucks of... 50, 48 pouches of Fun Dip. I don't even know what Fun Dip is. You don't oh, know, you what, know fun what Fun Dip, dip is? is? I thought you used to be oh, fat. Yeah, yeah. I, I never. I got fat on regular food, though. Okay, so, oh, no, so <laughs> check yeah. this out. I'm, I'll, I'll describe to you what Fun Dip is, all right? So imagine you're in the 70s. Do it, so, David. Imagine you're yeah. in the 70s, right? It's a bad time for Asians, right? Yeah, really, really bad time. But let me say something about candy in the 70s, right? When I think of candy, just throw out a candy that you would eat. Okay. No, th- just say, say oh, you. Okay, mm, haichu, one. right? Mm-hmm. Haichu is what? You open it, what happens? It's chewy, right? <laughs> just, yeah, just, yeah. Just, like, just fucking, you yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. Just agree with me, okay? Play along, yeah. David. God. So you, you, you go to the store, right? Mm-hmm. And you decide to get some lychee of haichu. Okay. It comes in a, what, a light purple packaging? Yes. So when you open it, how do you open it? Like how a, does it come in? Like a gift. The format. You open it like a gift. Right, right. So it comes in a bigger package. You open it and it has a little tiny wrapping. Mm-hmm. You open that, you stick it in your mouth, you can suck on it mm-hmm. or chew. That's generally how candy works. 
<laughs> right? Yes. Right. Yes. Generally speaking, yes. all over the world, right? Even in, you go to Asia with the rice, the, the rice paper that melts in your mouth. The rabbit candy. White right. Yeah. It's still White the rabbit. same same concept. You are, you're opening something. Mm-hmm. You're sticking it in your mouth. Mm-hmm. Not fun dip. That First was, of all, we is the worst sell of a candy. It, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I'm going to explain to you now why. Yes. Fun dip is this. You you open this part out, right? You open this part out, right? And what do you have here? Oh, it has a powder on the side and you dip it. It's a dipping stick. Get, you, you, you don't go to the end of the movie when... <laughs> You know what I mean? Five oh, point I've art. never seen that before. Bruce Willis life. is really dead. <laughs> the in the sixth sense. No, you, let's watch the movie first. No, but when you whipped out the tongue depressor, I remember the, I remember <laughs> the, the, the fucking thing. Yeah, I remember. Yeah, yeah, but can we just build to it? Oh, yeah, let's build. Let me start over. <laughs> close well, the pouch. So, yeah, I'm going to close the pouch, okay? okay? So we're just going to pretend you didn't do that. Okay. So what kind of candy do you eat? Son of a bitch. Oh, oh, we're, <laughs> that, that far, that we're starting back. Yeah, yeah. We're starting that far back. We have to go that far, far back. back. Yeah, we're going that far back because you pissed me off. I never eat candy ever. <laughs> okay, good. So anyway, fun dip. Um, well, usually what, how candy works is, you like if you get high chew, right? Unless you want to get some light chew. High chew. This is gonna be the lowest viewed podcast. Ever. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, you open this up like this, right? You have the stick. Anyway, you fucked it up. Right? And then you open this part. <laughs> you fucked you, it up. No, when you, you started you, with the story. No, you, <laughs> you opened it with the powder, right? And then you, you can't just do this. Right? It's gotta be wet. You can't just stick this in here like this, dude. Oh. You gotta lick the yeah. stick. Yeah, you know when you, the dick, you know when the dick goes in the pussy? Mm-hmm. The dick has to be, you know that some women spit on it? Mm. You spit on it. You spit on the dick. Oh my God. Oh, Jesus. Right? You've definitely been molested, dude. <laughs> <laughs> That's like high, right? high evidence. Easy. <laughs> Right, I can't even look at your and eyes. And then you right dip now. it. Right. Yeah, yeah. I feel so look at, uncomfortable. No, 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 no. Look at my eyes. Again. I can't. I can't do. Hey, it. you guys are close. Oh Come on. God, you guys are good. You guys are good right? friends. And then this you is like so right. many levels of therapy. I can't right. even. Like. <laughs> you stick it right in the pussy, right? Right. Oh my and you God. fucking dram it in there, right? Uh, right. And it comes out dry. It comes out dry <laughs> like this, right? Uh, you stuck your own dick again, right? Oh my and then God. you're done, right? You come, right? Oh, come, right? <laughs> <laughs> You know what? Yeah, what? <laughs> what? I was trying to say it was unacceptable. It is, it's not a, but, but it's hard to say I, when you're laughing. Not also, you know why? It's, do you know why it's not unacceptable? Right? It's because it's candy, and it happened to you, and it happened to me. Right? Done. That's right. <laughs> Done. <laughs> Boom. Yeah, Shakalaka. Yeah. Oh, let's do it again. You stick it in. Right? Oh, oh my god, dude. No, let me finish. You stick it in, right? Right? You come, right? Oh, right, like this. Right? She's still, she's awake, and she's. But then what you do is you take a hammer and you smash it in like that. Oh my god, babe. How do you remember the day that you were molested? We just had an arbitrary day, you fuck nut. Oh. Yeah, I mean, we talked like, about it that day yeah, and yeah. we just designated November 19th. Oh, I thought you remembered the exact day. I was like, that's amazing. No, no, no. We don't remember, but um, it is um, 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 Malestation Day. And mm-hmm. November 19th every year. Um, people write him cards and yeah. um, send gifts. They do. And wish him a happy molestation, molestation day. day. Just yeah. to honor the crime that was committed onto his body. Oh, yeah. My and you know what? I'll be honest with you. Molestation is no laughing matter. It's serious business. Well, we're trying to turn it into something positive. And That's I've, why he gets cards. Yeah, Have you yeah. ever gone through therapy for stuff like that? No. I don't need it. I'm That's pretty right. well-rounded and I'm healthy. I, I agree. Yeah, I, um, I completely agree. Do you really? 100%. You, no, are uh, you being, just being a yes man because I feel like you're joking with me? I am not. So I so, am not. So, you know, let's say you and I are friends now. You think we're like we're acquaintances, but more we're leaning toward more friendship. I say I'm a pupil. Versus, oh, you're a pupil. Uh, All right, yeah. so I'm the master in this situation. Of course. All right, so I come to you and I go, son. Yeah, son. You say yes, sensei. Yeah. Yes, sensei. Yeah. Do you think I need a therapy? I think people need therapy from you. There you go. That's right. And they just jerk off to like weird porn. Okay, where, why do I have to go there? <laughs> like, 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 why does it have to go there? Yeah, no. You really thank you for uh, thinking of me as your sensei. Dude, man. You put it on oh, for come us, on, dude. bro. Always straight up 100%. Straight up 100%, 100% all day, every man. day, man. All day, every day, right? Dude. I just can't wait for your Instagram post, but you should never post anything. Yeah. So it makes me sad. How about uh, a day where we can let white people call us gook? But just listen, without oh, it's saying like a the purge. K. Yeah, no, but not with a K. Not with a hard K. With a what? With a ooh, you know what I mean? A hard ooh. Goo, goo, yeah, goo. Like Mister, like Mister. Well, you know how at the N word, you know, you can you the hard R is wrong, but if you go with a A, you know what I mean? Still wrong. It's still wrong, but still right. You know what I mean? (laughs) But with I think white people should be able to call us like goo. Have you did, did the word gook ever like offend you 
really deep? Never. It doesn't. It doesn't like hit as hard as I feel like people want it. Want me to? It doesn't because I'll tell you why. If if I'm in like in platoon, if I'm in a hut, right? And like Kevin Dillon, when Kevin Dillon was shooting that old Korean man or that Vietnamese man in that mm-hmm. hut, and he was like dance, and he was hopping up and down with without a leg, mm-hmm. and he called somebody called me a goop, then you know it's the intention yeah, behind. Yeah, the intent, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. But if it, like. You know, like if I'm on set and some actor goes, "What's up, Gook?" just as a joke, it doesn't do anything for me. I feel like I would have to know you. Like yeah. if, I, if I don't know, yeah, you, you can't not first day. Yeah, if I just met you and they're like, "What's up, Gooky?" I'm like, "That's yeah. funny. I'm not stat this guy." You know? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, Oliver made a joke about like, you, you know, he goes, "Text me back," and I go, "No," and then I go, "You're being really aggressive because you're being really aggressive on t- uh, on the texting." Yeah. So I go, "I'm gonna break your cheekbones with my foot." I said something like that, right? And he goes, I'm gonna make I'm gonna take a knife and make a slit in your throat just like your eyes. <laughs> That's pretty good. Right, which is pretty good. That's pretty good. Right? <laughs> now, if he said that first day, I would probably go to the producer and go, I don't know if I can work under these this environment. Oh damn, you tattletale like that? The first day if some guy some white handsome actor came up to me and said, I'm gonna slit your throat to make it look like your fucking eyes. <laughs> As you're opening, like, hi, I'm Oliver. I'm you're the leading man in the show. Are you going to open with that? Yeah, but you don't but s- a year in? Man, you no, don't I don't give a fuck. Man, you don't snitch, man. I don't snitch. Man, you don't snitch. You know what the real Bobby would do? What? You go in there and you fucking wrestle the fuck out of him and beat the shit out of him. Right. Because that's, that's street Bobby. I hate snitches. Yeah, well, snitches get don't what? You, don't you hate bitches? Uh, no. Uh, that's, no, that's, no, snitches don't, don't get, get bitches, bitches man. Man, What's the term? Stitches, I, I heard it. I heard stitches. it. Stitches. Wait, n- niches? What? Niches. <laughs> no, tell me the t- saying. What the sen- fuck's a niches? <laughs> I don't know. Oh. Don't, I'm, your, I'm your sensei. Don't oh, talk to so me like that. Yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah. So t- give me the term. Stitches get stitches. Snitches get snitches. Stitches. 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 It's like a stitches. hard wire. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. The other day I had a hard time saying next exit. Next That's exit. kind of a hard Because thing. they said it to... So um, we, there was a scene with me and Oliver driving in a mm-hmm. car. And he, they said, just say it really fast. Right, so he says, "Where do we go?" And I go, "I'm supposed to go next exit," but you, I couldn't say it, so I had to add things to it and slow it down. And they didn't like that, but I said, "It's in the next or it's the next exit." I said it like that. Next exit? That's kind of hard. Just be on my side for once. Yeah, because there's two I, X's. It was hard. Okay. That's what I said. It's kind of hard. Yeah. Just be on my side for once. I'm, I'm <laughs> always on your side. When am I never on your side? <laughs> so, so, so the gook thing that's out. We shouldn't have that then. That'd be a thing. No, no. Sure. All right. Okay. All right. I feel like during your time, like just that word probably would meant a little more, because it was heard more often, or maybe because like in Sacramento, I just didn't hear it a lot. Like I didn't hear too many like racial shit. It's so funny what yeah. Ali Wong told me. Ali Wong said to me, she said. She just pulled me aside one day and she goes, I just really appreciate what you went through. I go, what? And she's like, I'm just like, you came from, even in Hollywood, a different place than me. Like you, I've never been asked to do an accent. Mm. I've never been asked to do like some weird like. She's never been asked to do an accent? No. I get asked to do accents. I know. But she's like, she's like you, because back in my day, we had to draw, show up in full ninja outfits. <laughs> that is pretty. That's nuts. pretty fucking. Tight. I'm not even kidding you. And they go, "Do you know ninja?" I go, "I don't even know why I'm wearing this right now." Do you right know now. ninja? <laughs> you know, I went to the store and bought it just for this audition. You're supposed to be a ninja. I go, "I don't know. I don't know." And they go, "Okay, bye." <laughs> and then, like, I spent forty bucks on a ninja outfit for no fucking reason. <laughs> I feel like that. Uh, the crazy rich Asian movie gave a lot of people some kind of gusto to go out there and tackle it, and I think it's like good. And the other path, I'm like, eh. what do you mean tackle what? Like they just they like okay. Like for example, there's this dude that I know. <clears throat> he he now wants to be an actor, right? Mm. The guy's trash. Like he is <laughs> he is I I've never he is trash. Like I literally like, he human garbage. He is human garbage. Mm. Like so the guy Asian my, guy or white guy Asian guy of course. So. Uh, I haven't talked to this dude in a minute. <clears throat> Hits me up out of nowhere. He goes, yo, how have you been? That means, mm, what do you want? Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. Guy comes up, he goes, oh, so like I want to go into acting and whatever, whatever. I'm like, all right, cool, cool, cool. That's cool. I'm like, you know, I'm not an actor, right? <laughs> like, like, I'm the last person you should act. Like, yeah, I just started this thing. Yeah. And he goes, yeah, well, I just saw watch, you know, Crazy Rich Asians and, you know, gave me a fire. Like, I feel like I could be the next action star out there. I was like, hold on a second. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. Wait in line. <laughs> okay, so to check this out. All right, oh, all right, like, all right, cool. I'm like entertaining him. I'm like, all right, cool. So, what, what are you doing to become a good actor? He goes, well, I right now, I signed up for a martial arts class. I was like, hold on a second. 
So you want to be an actor? Go to a fucking acting class, dude. You, you, what did you sign? You went to a fucking martial arts class? And he was like, well, yeah, I want to be the next action star. I was like, oh, cool. So because there's not enough Asian people doing martial arts yeah, that you're like Jesus the next Christ. one that's going to be signed up. It's like, holy fucking shit, dude. You fucking piling. I, oh, it makes me so mad. Just to even think about that Maybe shit. His name. Huh? <laughs> give me his name. Oh, I can't give you his name. You, you give me his name right now. Oh, you turn Japanese. Yeah. <laughs> What's his name? You write it down. You tell me his name. Right no, give me his first name. You can give me his first name. I can't. Not. His first name. <laughs> because he listens to this. Oh. He's a, sli- That's he's a sleeper. That's a good one, what you just did. He's yeah. a sleeper. Because even if he didn't listen to it, I have no way of knowing. So now I can't call him out. He does, though. And that was very smart yeah. of you, David. A very upright little one. <laughs> right. Did you call him out though? Yeah, because yeah. I asked him. So what I told him was this. Do you want the, the real advice or you want the, the you know, mm. whatever advice? He goes, no, just give it to me real. I was like, that's the dumbest fucking thing I've ever heard in my life, dude. I was like, how are you the next big eight? I was like, number one, dude. And I kind of feel bad for saying this. I was like, number one, you have never acted in your life. So you fucking suck. Number two, you are ugly. Like so, not only do you not know how to act, you're also ugly. So what are you? What are you going to do? But what are you offering? It's not even about. It's not even about. Dude, I'm telling you right now, dude. It's not even about being good or bad or ugly or not ugly, right? It's making the right decisions to be. Let's be honest. Let's be completely honest with ourselves. Today I was shooting, right? And in my head, I'm like, oh yeah, David So could do this. Gilbert could do this. If my brother had more, tr- uh, uh, like if they if, if they had more time, he might be able to land a couple of good takes. But at the end of the day, it's it's not rocket science. Mm-hmm. You just can't be nervous. Just say what they wrote, and if they say do it faster, slower, do it with more emotion, you try it. But at the end of the day, it's not it's not that. It's be, being put in a position where people are gonna go, oh yeah, that's the guy. And the old, the reason why I'm in this thing is because of all the years. Of me just being in the, you know, in comedy. Well, but yeah. that's exactly what he's saying. Exactly it's paying saying. your dues. Exactly. Yes. Yeah. So that's what I but was it's saying. Not, he could do it, right? He can do it, but it's like he he's never going to be able to do it because he has to be chosen. Yeah. And also, too, what I was bringing up to him was like this. I was like, so all these people who work on their craft, they work really fucking hard and they're a full time actor. You're somehow going to take these roles for them as a part time actor mm-hmm. because you feel like you're like that hidden talent. Right. Like, come on, bro. But like, even if he's real. good in the room, you know how hard it's like. All right. Yeah. So uh, he's a random Korean guy, right? Kind of ugly. He's Chinese. <clears throat> Whatever. Yeah. Right. <laughs> he's going out for an American movie. So in his type, what? You got that guy, Leo from New Zealand. Was it Australia? Yeah. I love that guy. Mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. You've got you know, all these, uh, Stephen Ewing, John, all these fucking people, right? Yeah. He's got to somehow beat these people out of the role, the one role. As a that's never going to happen. As a part-time actor. Even if he, <laughs> even if he goes in there and blows the room out, they're not going to, they're going to be like, he's pretty good, but we're not going to use He will blow him. the room out when they see his face. That's, that's exactly what's going to happen. What the fuck is his name? <laughs> you know, I, I'm being, I know, you know, because I was going to let it go. Right, and you just made another comment to make get a little laugh going. <laughs> no, you did, and that was really nice, and it was really funny and crafty, <laughs> right? But now you have to tell me his name. I, I can't. Afterwards, I'll t- I'll afterwards. T- how about how about this? Uh, how about this? Why don't, why don't you do this? Can we meet me halfway? I am going fifty fifty. One syllable, not one syllable, right? <laughs> just give me his initials. E H. E H. Hmm. Chinese. Okay. E H. So, Han. Edgar Hong. Edgar Hong. No. Edgar Hong. Eddie. Eddie Hong. Okay, can I say this? Eddie Hong. Eddie Hong. Okay. Eddie, Eddie, Eddie but Hong. If, if you, but I'm going to say this, David. David and I, I want you to remember this. Yeah. If you made up those initials just to bypass me, if like not, later when we, when we close lie. this out, right? Because mm-hmm. I'm going to make you look up his Instagram. <laughs> I want to see that's his nickname, E-H. It, it, is, it is real. 100%. Okay, and I believe you. I believe you too. Yeah. And, and let's let it go. We will let it okay. go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we have our uh, advertisement. Who is it? Lisa. Lisa, Lisa, Lisa my favorite. Oh, oh Bobby, oh. we got a Lisa. I love Lisa. it. Can I say something right now? Tell Heaven me. on my back. Heaven on my back. Heaven on my back. I love sleeping on heaven clouds, guys. And that's my thing as a king. Yep. As a sleep god. Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm a sleep god, guys. I'm a sleeper king. A demigod. And guys, let me say something right now. I only sleep on pure mattresses. Okay? Mm-hmm. Tempur-Pedic. Yeah. Pure. And that's what that's what Lisa is. We use Lisa, Kalila, and I. Mm-hmm. Okay? 
when we get to bed or we fuck Ooh. can we say that yeah 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 mm-hmm. make love I mean that's yeah, that's cool. yeah in a very PG manner mm-hmm. <laughs> like Christian love Ooh. yeah like maybe even missionary very mm-hmm. biblical if, if you know, on your birthday yeah okay but usually we use a blanket and like a little hole in it <laughs> like they do in the Arab countries my, my point is, is that <laughs> Fact. Continue. Fact. Anyway. <laughs> but anyway, I, honestly, we use a Lisa mattress, and it is literally the best mattress I've ever used. You, guys, I go to all over the country, and I sleep in fancy hotels sometimes. Really shitty ones, too. Yeah, a little you bit know, of everything. It depends on what club I'm playing. Mm-hmm. But a really fancy, and I, I don't sleep as good as this Lisa mattress I have. Mm-hmm. It really is the future, and tell them about it. Guys, Lisa is love more than 300 happy sleepers. The Lisa mattress is backed by more than 12,000 five-star reviews. Lisa also donates one mattress for every 10 sold, so you can feel good about your purchase. So right now, Lisa's best offer is $150 off a Lisa mattress plus a free pillow at lisa.com slash belly. And enter the promo code belly at checkout. That's L-E-E-S-A dot com slash belly. Promo code. I'm backing my reputation on it. Oh. And my reputation goes long and hard. Okay. Lisa mattress. Get it. Promo code belly. Back to the show. Oh, we love Lisa Mattress. So soft. Lisa Mattress is great. And also Ridge Wallet. We're selling some Ridge Wallets. Oh, yeah, for sure. People are coming up to me after the show and going, look. And they show me this one. We should give David one. Do you have one? I have plenty. Every, every time I'm on a podcast, they give me a response. <laughs> are, you being real? are you being real? I'm for real, dude. Like, they always come. Have you heard of Ridge Wallet? Yes, I fucking heard of Ridge Wallet. <laughs> like, son of a you bitch. Said, you, said, oh, I you, said, shit. you said Theo gave you two? Yeah, I, I, I just, it just comes oh, out Theo of my jacket. Vaughn. Yeah. Oh, Theo Vaughn? My God. Oh, you did Theo Vaughn's podcast? Yeah. How was that? It was great. He's the best, is he not? Yeah. He really is, like, one of the best. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And, you know, a lot of podcasters like Joey Diaz, is he just got a deal at Fox to do his own TV show. Oh, that's oh, cool, awesome. Cool, cool, cool. I think podcasters are, um, you know, even this one is it's it's given me um, a little bit of a um, what do you call it a safety net, sure. Because um, I don't know how long this other gig's gonna last, but at the end of the day, I know I have this, and it makes me feel a little bit more free. So thank you so much for your hard work. Are you looking at George? Hey. Yeah. yeah. Wow. There you go. Thank you so much for your hard work. But can I say something to you? <laughs> okay. Let's end it there. Don't tell me how to end it. Okay. Yes, sir. I could have got somebody better. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> so mean. <laughs> but. <laughs> no, but but look at John. But I believe it. <laughs> I could. I I honestly believe that. But. But God he, bless. Just let me finish. Would babe. he have fit in in exactly. with the family That's as what well I'm saying. as George That's what I'm saying. has? Probably but because not. you're kind of dumb. <laughs> but you're also no. <laughs> but also bright, you know, mm-hmm. and you have a good work ethic. And you really do. You have a good work ethic, and you know, here's the most important thing, and this is the last compliment I'm going to give you for this week, is is that I trust you. Mm. And that's the most important thing. It's, I feel like he's down, dude. Right, For right. a white dude, he's down as fuck. Dude, I, I, I'm telling you right now. Yeah. I, 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 if I gave George my last grand, if I had a thousand dollars, I go, hey, can you hold this for for like a, a year? That he won't touch it. Hundred percent. Yeah, but mm-hmm. he might buy a lot of pink ascots with it. <laughs> 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 fucking George, dude. Yeah, yeah, he came yeah, to yeah. the JK office with, with that pink, pink ascot. ascot. <laughs> I don't even know what a fucking ascot was. Yeah, yeah. And he was like, it's an ascot. I'm like. Oh, <laughs> George, what is an ascot, bro? <laughs> and he wore a white. I will forever remember this outfit. It was white jeans, white denim shirt, oh, yeah. and a pink yeah. ascot. Bring it back. You look like you sold candy for a living, dude. <laughs> like I was so upset. It's because I like you so much, George. I don't want you to get beat up. I also want to. I also want to. Uh, you know, you and I planted a seed, David. We all. You know, when we meet each other, we plant little seeds, mm. and these are seeds, seeds of friendship. And in your life, list people listening right now, you'll meet new people, and you may plant that seed. But guess what? You gotta water it. You gotta water that seed, because then it, it doesn't grow. The friendship doesn't grow. You need to do a TED talk, dude. That's exactly and, what you need to do. And I, well, you and I, we got pl- seeds planted all day long, but there's not. They're not sprouting. It's on the wrong soil. It's on the wrong soil, the oh, wrong foundation. Okay. And that's on you. Oh. 
<laughs> and the reason why it's on you is because I'm your sensei. I don't have to reach out to you. Okay? But you planted this seed. I feel like I'm growing. Yo, Yo, you're growing. I'm not growing. Our friendship's not growing. It's because you're a thousand year old tree. <laughs> <laughs> It's a bonsai tree. I'm like a redwood. <laughs> you're a I'm redwood. like these redwoods in sequoia. Yosemite. Yeah, you're a sequoia. <laughs> oh fuck! I never looked at it that way. Yeah. That makes so much sense. That makes now. a lot of sense. You're so a it's wisdom like, tree. Yeah, I'm a wisdom tree. 100. Mm-hmm. Right. <laughs> yeah, but you know, okay, I get it. And you know what? And that's why you're here. That's right. Because you're crafty with your words and your mind. Thank yeah. you. You're like you know in Fern Gully, when Hexus comes out, when they cut that tree down. That's what happens if somebody cuts your tree. <laughs> Hexus comes out and kills the world. What is a Hexus? <laughs> no one's seen Fern Gully. I, I, I don't remember Fern that. Part. Is this some sort of Filipino bullshit that you saw on Cebu Island? Channel Fern 15? Gully is so. It's like an anime. It's like a. It's a cartoon. All right, let, let, I'm like going to everyone in the room. Right, has a round of applause or not? Raise your hand if you've heard of Fern Gully. Heard of it? Yes. No, thank you, John. I haven't it, watched it. Is it a it. Filipino cartoon? Oh, no. what, what, it's what, not. what is it? Oh, then? You said it like what is Fern Gully? Fern Gully is, uh, is about a bat. Is it? Yes, it's there's bat. Deforestation, deforestation, yes. And then the, all right, all right. Well, then oh, you win, baby. You I'm win. wrong then. I thought it was about seagulls. Like <laughs> yeah, but yeah, the, his name don't. is Hexus. Yeah. That sounds so fun. It's about deforestation? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Love that Disney film. <laughs> oh, I can't wait to watch it. I know. It sounds so great. Yeah, yeah I'm going to buy it as soon as we're done with this. It's about deforestation. Is that, it's, 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 it's a, a climate. Change. It's a climate. Hold on. What? There's somebody big who does the voice of if the it's, bat. If it's Al not Gore? Orlando Bloom, I'm not watching. <laughs> I'm going I'm to I'm I'm give you the cast of Fern Gully right now. He has the best. Who, Orlando Bloom? Legolas, right in my mouth. Oh. <laughs> as Legolas or yeah. as Orlando Bloom? Both. Shoot that arrow right in my mouth, Legolas. Okay, guess who the bat? Guess, <laughs> guess who was the voice of the bat? Oh, this is okay. okay this game. Okay, we're gonna do this game. Oh, only no, no. We will big. do this. We'll do this game. But I, and I'm gonna finish this game. But this game is gonna be. We're gonna go through it. Okay, and it's gonna take 50 minutes. <laughs> but let's just try. Okay, let's try. Okay. So all right. So who's the bat? White, right. White, we, no, 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 no. Don't give us okay, any hints. Right. So you threw out a fucking suggestion, Stephen Hawkins. <laughs> I, am, I am a bat. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, the slowest for me, ever. it's um. Wait, but I can I can no, offer no, 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 a clue no, no, based no, no, on baby. what he's saying. Yeah, no, no. Um, uh, he is in the same. Forrest um, Whitaker. Who has a uh, what? I, no, closer, okay, go ahead. closer. No, no, no don't give us hints. Look, we're gonna finish this game to its end. Oh, go, go ahead. No, that, that, you guys. Oh, that fool that plays Superman. What's his name? <laughs> With the oh, oh, um, Henry Cavill. No, no, no. Um. Um, the guy from Christopher, Christopher Reeve. Christopher Reeve. Reeves. Oh, the one with that got fucked up from the horse. Yeah. <laughs> no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. More recent death. Uh-huh. More recent. Why are you doing people that are paraplegic? <laughs> I know. And that wheelchair. She said wheelchair. No, I didn't say wheelchair. She said dead. Oh my. Oh, they are dead. <laughs> yeah. Oh, they're, they're already dead now. <laughs> they're dead now. Oh fuck! There, here we go. But Christ- icon. Stephen I think Irwin. icon. Think icon in comedy. Uh, Stephen Irwin. Christopher Reeves. He was hilarious. <laughs> What's Gene he? Wilder. Christopher Reeves no, had an interview. Younger, younger, babe. Oh, he's younger. Oh, Heath Recently Ledger. Recently passed. Heath Ledger. Babe, comedian. <laughs> uh, oh, Cosby. the little midget from Passions. <laughs> Is it Bill Cosby? <laughs> he oh, died. Alive, he died, by the way. Really? Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. I remember Passions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You knew who was in that show? Um, Hold on. Travis. No, no, no. Was it? Yeah. And his wife. Yes. Travis yes. Schultz was the star of it. Right. And I, I, used and to I keep watch asking. That. So Travis Schultz is on my show, Splitting Up Together. He, he's guest stars. And I go, what's that midget like? He's don't call him midget. I forgot his name, but you know. the politically correct term is what? Little person. L- little person. Anyways, back. Come on, guys. You're you're so you're kind of close. So not Christopher Reeves. Iconic male comedian, white, funny. Funny white person. Okay, iconic white. <laughs> or, 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 Think I, of I, the I most know, iconic. I know. I know. I know. I know who it is. Who? Mitch Hedberg. More iconic than Mitch. He- I know Gary Shandling. Um, That's right not. in the same line as that. Think the Gary oh, Shandling. Oh, so this is where we're getting Gary. Am I getting close though? Closer. Getting- Gary Shandling. Um, Robin Williams. Yes. Yeah. Oh. And you guys don't know fucking Fern Gully. Did I win? You did win that competition. I think you did. Uh huh. Yeah. I want to talk about this, and you might have to cut it out. He played Batty. His name's can, Batty. Can I talk about something that we might have to cut out? Yeah. Go ahead. Christian Slater's in it, but no big deal. Who's that? Played Pip. Oh, yeah, we don't know who <laughs> <laughs> You know, back in the circus days. Okay. Okay, well, we're going to cut this out. 
We'll cut this out. <laughs> and now cutting to our sponsors. Sirs, Ridge Wallet. <laughs> David, do you have a Ridge Wallet? <laughs> You guys even know, right? You guys even hey, know, bro, right? Know. Right, know. right. We know. But I'm just saying, back. <laughs> Bart, Let me Bart tell you about Bailey, cutting this. our sponsors, <laughs> right? I'm just saying, though, like the hairy face person, the right? bearded lady, the oh, bearded no, the lady, one, no, the, the wolf, wolf boys, wolf the wolf boy, boy yeah. wolf boy. You know, they they had that condition with the hair, right? So yeah. people say nowadays that. you couldn't go, hey, hairy face, right? You'd mean? have to call him some sort of like PC name, like um, facially, you know. Why would you have to call them? <laughs> facially, um, facially hair. <laughs> don't even say their name. Hey, facially. <laughs> My name is John. Yeah, no, yeah, facially. No, hey, facially. Hey. Hey. <laughs> That's a good old, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like old Korean man would do. And you had like a really ugly fan. Uh, yeah, 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 you know your friend is. Yeah, yeah. like, <laughs> That's what my dad would do. But I have a really ugly friend. He goes, I, 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 you, know, I, I, you know that friend? I, yeah, 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 yeah. I know who you're talking about too. Yeah, my dad did go. Do your friend like this, right? He had dreadlocks. Oh, uh, but he would go oh, like this. <laughs> and he was. That's who he is. Fred, yeah, these. I think yeah, I just yeah. learned the word dreadlock, but they refused. They refused. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, octopus head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Octopus head. <laughs> But what I'm saying is, is let it, anyway, let, let it go. Yeah, the circus thing. Yeah, yeah you want me to let that, it go? You want me to let it go? Good. I want to know, though. Yeah okay, well, yeah, okay, but what I'm saying is is that we've become so PC that you can't even call certain people what they were. Anyway, let's let it go. <laughs> <laughs> that was your point. It's, it's uncomfortable. That was your point. It's uncomfortable already. Like that was it. the worst yeah. monologue of the day. <laughs> yeah, the, the, one, no. the two ones before no, were you, way better. You didn't let me stand. Oh, okay, oh fine. yeah, let me stand. <laughs> Back in the day, man, when we had circuses, dude. Right? Bussy. Right? Remember the hairy face guy? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Facially, facially. Yeah. Right? And the midgets. Yeah. It's good? <laughs> it's, good. <laughs> it's pretty good, huh? It's better. Yeah, it's better. Thank you. Thank you so much. You make that candy so unappetizing. <laughs> <laughs> Why? It's just the way you go at it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But um, I, I, I honestly I, I honestly think about this. If splitting up together gets canceled, I really want to do a show with you. I think I would love to do a show we're with you. Like either you're my younger brother or mm-hmm. something, and we're kind of like just losers in Koreatown. I actually wanted to be your older brother. <laughs> that'd be kind of funny. That'd be hilarious. You're my older brother. I'm your older brother. You just uh, look older than him, but you're I just younger. Look older. Than him. Oh, that's <laughs> yeah, funny. funny. That's funny. <laughs> that should be wild. Yeah. How old are you? Twenty-two. <laughs> right. Holy shit. Holy shit. <laughs> looks like shit. <laughs> yeah, I mean, because that always with me and my brother. Like my brother's uh, older than uh, I am, but I look older than him. You do? Oh, really? Yeah. You have a baby face, though. You have nice cheeks. Oh, I thank you. Well, yeah. these just just came out recently. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that shit was hidden. You before. do have a real Korean face, huh? Yeah, I'm pretty gooky, dude. No, no, that's I, not what I mean. It's no, no, that straight up though. If like, you, if I, because something about you have my cousin Paul's kind of eyes. There's like a thing in your eyes that's like very Korean. I can't explain it. I have a very Korean face. Yeah, very, yeah, yeah. Very typical Korean. You know yeah. what my friend did that was really disastrous to her face? And what? I think that she regrets it, but I don't have the heart to tell her. She got the double eyelid surgery. She's Korean. Oh, yeah. Very popular. But um, it made her look fully 150% cross-eyed. Oh really? Oh, it no. exposed her it actual. Revealed. Yeah, it revealed what it re- what was underneath, oh, no. which was that she's How actually. How can you not cross-eyed. laugh at your friend every day you see them? No, I tr- I try to look at her stories and I'm like, dear God, and then I have myself a good laugh, and then I ask my Jessica, my my best friend, I was like, dude, like check this out, and Jessica's like, holy shit, dude, you gotta tell her. I'm like, it, she can't undo her eyes, can I think, she? I think you can undo it. That's a really painful process Ooh. though. Like I hear like you, there's like long healing time. Probably, but if you're ugly as fuck from that, you might as well just throw the money in there. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, that's pretty bad. Also, would you ever get it done? No, I don't need any surgery. So if I said to you, David, my cousin is the best plastic surgeon in, in Beverly Hills. Just hear me out. All right. All right. Well, just hear me out. Just it was so tender. I felt bad. <laughs> I know. He really is. He does the Kardashians. He, does, he did Caitlyn's pussy dick thing. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Okay. Made it look real good and tight, right? He's the best. He did a blindfold, both surgeries. <laughs> wow, right? he did amazing. That's a good he is. He was drunk too. That's pretty Whoa, good. Wow, perfect. Penis to vagina, perfect. That's amazing. He does eyes as well. <laughs> okay. Yeah. 
and he takes goo guys mm-hmm. and makes them look American, right? <laughs> American. And they're going to be round and they're going to be perfect. And guess what? He generally charged he charged Lucy Liu um, three million, right? To make her eyes smaller, to make them bigger, and um, he'll do use for free. Let's do it. Absolutely not. Why? Because I don't like changing. I don't. I don't like plastic surgery. It's not my shit. I like. I think plastic surgery is like acceptable for people who are just hideous. Like they, <laughs> in terms of societal societal hideous. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like that's just my thing. Like let's say the jaw is off to the left and right. You know, just, you know right. Like so that. if you were, let me say something. If you were like in a fiery accident. Yeah. Right, and your face was all bacon. It's it's not gonna make a difference. I'm gonna be ugly either way at that point. No, if I say there's there's surgery that's gonna make you look like more. Tom Cruise, then. Oh, like where you just literally rip somebody's face off and put it to mine? Yeah. Yeah, let's do Like it. Tom Cruise died. I, go, I cut Tom's fucking face. Yeah, but that's not going to look good on this face. I know, that's true. Right. <laughs> yeah, like stretch it's it out. Yeah, stretch, yeah, it would look dude. really weird. Like, Tom you Cruise. would really look like an alien. Oh, 100%. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You'd have exposed skin on the side. <laughs> exactly. yeah. It only like, like, takes up like the, the middle part. The is too small. <laughs> um, Tom Cruise is like 5'1", isn't he? Yeah, yeah sure. whose face would, you, uh, would be good on yours? I know. Kathy Bates. <laughs> <laughs> So I said, hey, yo, dude, Kathy I know you Bates got all fiery in your face. <laughs> Kathy Bates just died. Same skull. That's crazy. I'm going to die with Would her. Would you then. do it? <laughs> you wouldn't do it. Absolutely Let not. Me, uh, Kathy, she's your face is gone. Oscar. She's Kathy won an Oscar. I don't give a fuck about an Oscar, dude. All right. All right let me give it another name then. I don't think that's bigger. George Foreman. I take George Foreman. <laughs> 100%. You would do George Foreman's face? I think because it's hilarious. <laughs> oh, yeah. If you, oh, you would look so weird. I would look really weird. But, oh, yeah. but the face size makes sense. Yeah. So there wouldn't be any, uh, like, no coverage. You know whose face you couldn't replace? <laughs> look at how wide that fucking face is. Are we the same? Or no. I'm no, probably yours wider. is bigger. You have the it's widest But it's, it's very chiseled. Face. It's very Lego. Yeah, it's very Lego. Yeah, yeah. Who's oh, it's face? very Lego, dude. Yeah, yeah. But it's chiseled, though. The Filipinos have massive faces, though. Yeah, yeah, it's not that big. My face is big. I'm team big face. I've always been. You know what I would do with you? Go to Mount Rushmore and just get one of those president's faces off the cliffs. <laughs> <laughs> just you get Lincoln. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I'm out there just chiseling away, right? No, Gilbert loves his face, so I'm just. <laughs> you know what's so random? Um, so the guy that we train with, your friend, the was it Elliot. Elliot Jones. It turns well, out we know the same people. So we've been do- I've been doing Muay Thai. With- he convinced me to do Muay Thai with him. All right. And you know, whatever. You got to do it. But you want to hear the funniest fucking shit? So the way Elliot speaks of Kalila's relationship with each other, yeah. it's yeah. like the, the coolest, friendliest thing ever, yeah. right? They're like, yeah, we're still really close. And then we call her up. She goes, well, fuck that guy. <laughs> like, yeah. Yeah. He said that, Who that we're that? all really close. Yeah. That guy just ghosted on our friendship after I was friends Ooh. with him for eight years because he got a new girlfriend. That's the difference and all, between I, a man and, and actually, a woman. that same, that same day when you guys um, called me, mm-hmm. I texted him. I was like, hey, dude, are we still friends? Oh, Where yeah. are you? And he never texted me back. Interesting. Well, your text was kind of aggressive. My text was? <laughs> a little bit. No, I put a happy face. Are we still friends? <laughs> <laughs> but look at, look at the tone in your voice right now. Yeah, but that's not, they didn't come hey, through. Hey, don't me. ever point. <laughs> don't ever point your finger at my girlfriend <laughs> like that again. I did it. I'm going to shoot you like this. I went like this. Bitch, you know me. I went like this. No, don't ever do that again, dude. All right? That's my fucking girlfriend. Come to my house. Turn her eye, dude. Go to my fucking house and fucking point at my girl. Bitch, you know me. I know. I just saw. Heba, you go. Heba. What? What Heba? I don't know. I don't know. I got angry. Let me get this straight. Now I'm furious that you guys actually talk to him. I didn't talk to oh, him. We were having we were having uh, cupcakes together. Oh, uh, fuck that what? guy. Yeah, fuck that guy. He said but cupcakes. The way you know he how... talked about your friendship was so great, and the way you responded was so different. All I could think was the guys and girls are really different. Like he no. thought you guys were really good friends still. How? When I I was so worried where he had gone, I thought something bad had happened to him because he just stopped contacting my sister, me, my other friends because we, we we were a bigger group of friends, you know. Mm. And I was so worried, and I was and I had to hear through somebody else that he just like moved to another state. I'm like that's not f- a friend. I was worried genuinely, and I love that guy. You should text him again right now. To call him. Fuck let me it. text call, him. No, call, call him. Call Trust him live me. right now. Call Trust him. me. Let me text him. Oh, yeah. Let Bobby Wait, text him can we quick. call speakerphone? Yeah. yeah hold on. You, like, you guys want to play some trust text yeah. games? I want you to take a picture of me pointing at him like this, too. To show how serious <laughs> David, I am. David, <laughs> I'll be honest with you. You Are we friends? I, you you respect me? not accepting calls yes, at this time. You. you respect me? Yes. Okay. Give me your phone. Yeah, I don't respect you that much. <laughs> <laughs> so you don't respect me? I 100% respect you. Well, then you, if you respect me, you give me your phone. 
Uh, absolutely not. <laughs> well, then you know, we, well, then you and I are just mere – well, you can't just set those rules like that. Come on I'll now. give you my phone. I don't want your phone. <laughs> <laughs> I Gilbert. But I love you. <laughs> don't do it. Gilbert, you have a lot to live for. It's and called you have trust a very text. bright future ahead of you. You want to play the game, trust text? <laughs> there we go. Here we are. I'm so glad it's not me. There we go. See, this is real friendship right here. I understand, but I have like three or four businesses. He has five me. businesses. <laughs> I have uh, one, and it's yeah, Tiger yeah, Valley. Yeah. And let's just uh, just random. A That's random message. Random. I know. Close your eyes. Close, close your, your eyes. eyes. No, you close your eyes. Me? Yeah. Want to fuck? Close your eyes. Wanna <laughs> be careful, oh please. God. Be careful. Yeah, want to fuck? Friends, hey, I have lots of family friends out there with, that oh, yeah. are married. Want to fuck? Question mark. Oh, my God, what say? Bobby. What say? Jade Cataprota. She, my chill, take it well. Should I, should I send it? Yeah. See, I'm not going to do it now. Because you know what? He just passed the test. Oh, my oh, God. Oh, man, I fucking failed, dude. You failed. <laughs> you know what? Whatever you want no, next week, you got. No, because the last time he took my phone, he actually called somebody yeah. who well, I hadn't spoken to in like well, five I was, years. I was never going to do it. <sighs> David, I was never going to do it. Why would I do that? Why would I burn bridges? Because you poop in your car. That's why. <laughs> I, 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 you are, you are that fact, type of human being. Uh, but the fact that you didn't give me the thing, we're a notch lower now. I, but I and want you to realize when, this. No, I'm going to realize this, okay? <laughs> You pointed at my girlfriend. You did hostile fucking. It wasn't. Pants. It was like this. <laughs> I don't care if you do the T Rex finger. It wasn't a hostile oh, right. point. Thank but you. what I'm saying is this, right? Two points lost against you. I, I just want to put this on the table, though. Okay, go ahead. You are a type of human being. <laughs> don't tell me what kind of type of human being I am. You are, though. Okay, <laughs> that's <laughs> true. Or you will shit argument. in your car and then ask somebody to valet it. You, <laughs> Yeah, that that you might as well just worship Satan at that point. No, that is, that that is, that's that not is, Satanism. It's, it's maybe witchcraft. I know, but like uh, biblically speaking, that's pretty bad. Uh, yeah, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> wait, wait, what? That's fine, that's fine. Medically speaking, you say? Biblically. Biblically, <laughs> biblically and medically. Okay? It, is, it is terrible stuff. But that's none of your fucking business. And I'm going to say this, right? Yeah. It has nothing to do with what my behavior is or what I've done in the past. I was trying to check our friendship mm-hmm. and see where your loyalty is. Mm-hmm. And your loyalty is not there fully yet. And the thing is, is this, is that one day maybe we will get there. But right now, we're not there. But how about this? Tell me. I'd fucking kill for you, dude. Oh, wow. Mm. Damn. Ooh, checkmate. I'm not even blinking. Wow. Well, oh. the air kind of on right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even blink. Blink. Yeah, the, the air's kind of on right now, but other than that, I'm not, I wasn't blinking. Yeah? Yeah. I wouldn't kill for you. Like, if we were out, let's, oh, let's no. it's okay, you don't have to kill for me, man. But you know what I would do for you? What would you do for me? Text for me. Rape for you. Okay. Oh, well, okay. Well, let's mark well, that. We gotta well, cut that. I cut that out. Well, let's that go to our sponsors. Oh. Real quick. <laughs> hey, David, do you want a ridge wall? <laughs> I think so. It's coming out of my jacket. Also, if it's somebody who like raped your sister or saying. hurt you, he'd just rape them back. Mm, <laughs> that this is, is I, really good stuff. That is that good right stuff. there. Don't even mark it. That is okay. amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's in. He just retaliation rape. I like that. I'm talking about this. Like, let's say we were outside, right? Somebody comes up to you, a drunk man, and goes, you know what? Fuck you, Bobby Lee. I would clock that motherfucker for you. I believe it. Yeah, now, okay, first of all, George would do that same. Yeah, but George... <laughs> <laughs> I get it. It would be funny, yeah. and no one would be hurt. I'm pretty sure... Like, <laughs> right? Before we fight, let me take my ascot off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, um, but he would do that. Cups. To me, that's not enough, right? I, I do test, like, you know, the cell phone thing. So give me your cell phone. I'll give you another chance. All right. Mm. <laughs> Still, I, it's I have I have respectful people. Like I, I, no, I would say this. He right? has dignitaries on his phone. I have, dude. I have a lot of big people on my phone as well. One hundred percent. But they're all comedians, so they understand that. No, I, I, I have people. I have normal I have people scientists. in my life. Okay, like who? Who, who do you have? Scientists do you have? Ross? David Fafaso. You have, <laughs> hey, you have David Faso. Fafaso. Fafaso. You know what he does? Yeah, right? biology, man. Cambridge University. Yep. Uh, wow. So, you know, that's in your face. Amazing. <laughs> yeah, Sounds yeah. a lot like David Fatso. <laughs> <laughs> Not David Fatso. I, I, know I, I know I looked at you. I know, you know, I, know I looked at you. And I improvised that line. I said, David Fatso. You know, you know what the funny thing is? Because like, right, right when he was about to say, he realized I lost weight. Right. right but that's why I said that. That's why I switched it. Because it wasn't the same anymore, right? It's amazing because it turned so, Italian real All right. Fast. So, um, but what you're saying is that you have too many important people. But you know I'm not going to text anybody. Oh, yes, you would. No, I won't. I've seen her Twitter. Oh, oh that's thank why you. you're right. Evidence, <laughs> and you're you're doing your homework. I told you, like I I follow you. I man. know I follow everyone too. <laughs> Is okay. there a split second where you where you think 
is she really saying this? Well, when you when he basically called you a cum guzzler, I'm like, mm, <laughs> mm, I don't know about this one. This yeah. one's a little. I'm about like 50 50 on this one. Yeah. <laughs> I, was like, I would so tweet yeah. something yeah. similar. Yeah, I was like, this one's a little tricky, but not too Kalila. So if splitting up. To, I'm being real with you. Yeah. If splitting up together, right, gets canceled. Will you write something with me, a show? A hundred percent. No, it being real. I'm for reals. I think that we can come up with a show. I think so too. I, th- I think I have enough. We both can together have enough connections to get. I us also into think. Rooms. I mean, I'm not just being biased. I have never seen two people have better chemistry than you guys. Just we even on a conversation, like I never, I've never spoken so little on a podcast just because I'm always so in awe of you guys' oh. banter. So Jiu- it would be a shame Jiu- if you didn't. Thank you, baby. What's Joe Jitsu's name? Joe Jitsu Kala? Yeah, that guy. Yeah. Maybe he'll be, get involved, maybe a little bit. I love it. I think we'd smash it, dude. I think your life story alone, you could build like three movies, four TV shows, everything, dude. Just like just the content on Tiger Belly alone is unreal. Mm-hmm. Oh, I don't know what that is. That's the TV show poster. <laughs> okay. <laughs> You don't know? Coming fall. <laughs> Wait, David. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. David. The show is called Harry yeah, Face. Yeah, yeah. What about this, though? You guys create a show, but then Bobby turns into a diva. He insists that the billboard can only have his face. I'm do you allow Sensei would, to do that? He wouldn't care. You know me very well. I know he wouldn't he would care. Not, yeah. Season two, yeah. Even season one or two, the only thing I care about is I get the paycheck. So yeah, yeah, yeah. You could, yeah. Take, you could take everything, but as long as I get the correct paycheck, I'm fine. So smart. So smart, this guy. That's all that it matters. Because who cares? As long as it's out there, it's funny, people are laughing, then I did my job. That's it. That's not yeah. enough for him. All right. <laughs> I, need, I need I need a plan. I need a plan. That's all. And um, what are we doing on time? With David Sell? So? Over an hour. Mm. Like clockwork, huh? Yeah. Clock like clock, clockwork. I woke up at 8 in the morning. You woke up at 8? Yeah, I had to work all day. That's awesome. I'm so tired. But um, I have some little rumors that um, I'll tell you when the camera's off. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Some things are happening. Ooh. Okay. Um, as you know, my listeners, my beloved listeners, I love you so much. And when I saw you Sunday night at the Bray Improv waiting in line, you know, we greeted everyone, me and Bryce. My <laughs> good friend, my good friend, Bryce. Bryce. <laughs> <laughs> I, I honestly, I, I, don't, I, I like you too, a lot. But <laughs> I, do, I, really, I really do. I missed you so much. But dude, I love that Bryce. You know I do, right? He's my buddy. Um, but all you Tiger Belly people that came out to, um, you know, we fellowshipped. Yeah. We got together and we um, exchanged energy. And I really enjoy it. Thank you so much. I'm going to be playing the San Diego, right? American Comedy American Company. Comedy Company in December. And also next weekend, you're going to be in Arlington, Not Virginia. Not this weekend, but next weekend, I'll be in Arlington, Virginia. At the Draft House. At the Draft House. Come join me, and we will bond and exchange fluids and energy. Mm. It'll yeah. be a good one. Do we have a... Um, do we have a... Um, unhelpful advice. Unhelpful advice? We do. Unhelpful advice with Bobby, Kalila, and David Fasol. <laughs> Hey, Tiger Belly. I broke up with my girlfriend months ago and been wanting to move on for a while wah, now. Wah. But, recently, <laughs> but recently, I felt my love for her coming back. I just turned 21, and I know that I'm young, and I should live my life to the fullest and meet new people, but I really care for her, and I love her more than anyone. Should I just move on and meet new people to date, or should I fight to get her back? P.S. One of the main reasons I wanted to move on for good was because she slept with another guy. <laughs> Tight. <laughs> Soon after our breakup, she has since stopped sleeping with him. Love oh. you all. As far as you know, this guy She's is definitely dead. his name is DC, but he has a Korean last name. Hmm. Bobby hates the relationship stuff. I know, but there's ten because of them. Because he he writes the email, but he knows what the answer is. Mm-hmm. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. You know, so it's like, what am I? You already know what the answer is. So what do you want to hear from me? Maybe that's the real thing, is address that. He just needs to hear it from the king's mouth. Mm-hmm. You're 21. You broke up with a girl. First of all, think back why you broke up, the feelings. Yeah. Right? Because when you have separation, 
you start telling yourself things. You ignore certain things. Yeah, you remember the good stuff. It's yeah. easy to just mm. remember the good stuff and to to feel a little thrill from that. I think that that's a normal feeling to have too, to think fondly, to think back fondly of somebody. Yeah. But it doesn't mean anything. It doesn't mean you have to get back with her. Damn, I could I could do that with a previous relationship sometimes. I'll think, oh, yeah. And then I think, oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. That. Mm. The Fuck fact that. that she fucked someone else. <laughs> yeah, that. That. So you know the answer, my little papaya, mm-hmm. right? You have to. Um, I'm. I'm telling you right now, man. I don't know if you know this, but here's, here's something I think about all the time. They keep growing women on the trees. Oh my God, we're not fruit to be had on your plate, sir. <laughs> you know that's actually. You know what's so interesting? What? That's actually like Korean slang. So if you want to like fuck a girl. Like, what, what is it? We're that? just fruit out of a tree. Like kind of, like well, they say it like you're picking fruit from a tree. It's like, like means like you want to pick and fucking eat yeah, that's that why shit. I, that's why I said that. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Is yeah, it thank in you, the man. same realm of there are many fish in the sea, or is this no, women it's, it's that really are derogatory. strictly fruit? It's really like, derogatory. It means like it makes me kind of fuck you. That's what it makes it means. Oh my you say goodness. It but what I'm saying is, every season <laughs> there's new there's new there's new fruits to be grown, and <laughs> and, and and vice versa, men too. Yeah. Men are also grown on trees. If you're a woman listening, right? Basically, it is. There's plenty of fish in the sea. Okay, that's but at this at this end of the day, it's like, but th- those fish are replaced with younger fish, too. Mm. You know, <laughs> yes. Fresher, yeah, but what about an orange fresh roughy? Fresh Do you know how an orange roughy what? lives up to 150 years? Yeah, that's not good. Why do you know that random information? Yeah, yeah, yeah. because it's on my list of not to eat. Why, if, I, if you're into because different- they're fish before they hit their reproductive state, and so we're not able, they're not able to like replenish their population. And oh, we're, you're we're conscious as fuck about fish, yeah. But not other animals. I am. I don't eat She's meat mostly. Now. I still. You're vegetarian now. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh, you my. just angered him. <laughs> so anyway, this old fish. If you're into like Helen Mirren pussy, what is Tom is vegetarian? Then, then don't f- forget the analogy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But if you want fresh, you know what I mean. Like Disney, like you know sa- I mean? sashimi, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> sashimi, yeah, yeah, yeah. sashimi life. But like, Helen you know, Mirren is so hot. I'm just saying, if you're into that, it, it, her vagina though, come on. I How mean, cool. when, you, when you say Helen Mirren is hot, you mean now? And uh, now, or do you I mean think, for her age? I genuinely think <laughs> Helen Mirren is an attractive woman she even today. Oh yeah, but she's not. I, I mean, you compare it to a luscious young woman. You know what? Because with her wit. And her life experience, she's hotter to me than I would rather have oh, sex with Helen Mirren know, know, than a random hot twenty year old Victoria's Secret. Just go, yeah, 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 just, yeah, yeah. Just the fuck though. I'm, but just the fuck. Now, I'm yeah, not talking about relationships. Don't argue, don't argue. Just go, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm yeah, fucking yeah, yeah, yeah. a legacy. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I'm fucking a legacy. I'm fucking a legend. I'm fucking life experience. That, the look yeah. in her eye. Or, a twenty year old's not gonna give me that look. So in the you eye. would fuck Clint Eastwood. I would. Are you kidding me? Really? Get off my lawn. Get off my dick. Get off my dick. Get off my dick. Fucking Funny. Bridges of Madison That's County. Funny. Yeah. yeah all you, right. you would fuck Clint Eastwood? Yes, just yeah. because I love that movie. No. Yeah. What's Clint his name? Eastwood. Richard? Yeah. Clint Eastwood? I would hop on that dick so fast. Now? Have you seen him now? I would hop on Clint Eastwood dead. I would oh, still hop God. on that dick. Wow. Wow. I'm That's fucking a legacy. You you know, in Life this, experience. In this podcast, we all make it seem like Bobby's the weird one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just to put it out there, he's never said something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> So that that was that. Anything you want to plug? Uh, YouTube channel David So Comedy, and then exactly. Instagram the same thing. David So Comedy. Yeah, check out a uh, sip matcha tea. Oh yeah, it's out like, in uh, Westwood and Roland Heights. Still that? haven't been there. Bring him some. What yeah. is that? Uh, it's our matcha joint. So we have a lot of matcha tea, a lot of both. Wait, wait, you have a business? Yeah, I have a few. He has more. many. But you have there. There are places you can go in, and I can purchase things. Yeah, 100%. ice cream, tea. Where I have told you so many times to get free food, you have no idea. <laughs> where, where? Smorgasburg, LA. Mm-hmm. I'll go with you, Bobby. Yeah, we'll hook the, all that up. You, no, you don't have to hook it up. I want to pay. No, I'm gonna hook it up. He, oh, he I ha- no, he had it. I I brought him to six two six. The shrimp, oh. the shrimp. Oh, the That's shrimp. David. Yeah, the oh. shrimp daddy. <laughs> you love that. <it. laughs> you know, she bought. He got mashi opso. Mashi opso. He had like. He got two bowls. What was mashi opso? He ordered the pineapple and a shrimp. He had two bowls. Yeah, two gay bowls. What was mashi opso? What was it really? The pi- what is the shrimp, shrimp daddy and the pineapple? Remember? We went to the Asian festival. In in um, San Gabriel. That's you. That's his. Yeah. We well, you a, own that. We have a, a group of people that we we uh we do it all together. That place you don't is really so good. I do. 
Because they charged us, did they not? They didn't. They didn't. Oh. They, did. they gave you like two really bowls. Good. Yeah. <laughs> it was really good. But I, I was trying to figure out if it was because I was really hungry or... <laughs> no, I ask you, was I really hungry? That's, it's it's such an Asian parent thing to do. Was I really hungry? Trying to give credit uh, where you were so due, you, know? you were so full, but you ate it still and loved it. Yeah, this is disgusting, and you ate a second bowl. <laughs> <laughs> that was really good. I remember that. He double fisted. It comes in a boat, pineapple. right? Like a boat. A pineapple. A pineapple boat. Yeah, that was really nice. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you for the free food. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, do you, so David Sokama does, you know, shrimp boat. Yeah, Sip check matcha out tea. Sip Matcha, 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 matcha Shrimp matcha, Daddy, shrimp Daddy, shrimp daddy uh, Chichi Dango, and also yeah. Drips. Yeah, and drips. Go, Tutu, but like, yeah. Tutu Magu. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. Go check that out, too. Um, anywho, what do I got to plug? <laughs> you already did it, your show. No, Will you but check? I have to also plug. The Tiger Belly merch. Six. Uh, oh, those are splitting gone. up together. Son of a bitch. I got all of them. Huh? No, you guys aren't watching it because it's, I'm not in it a lot. Wait, when is the episode with you and um, the, your little Korean nephew? I saw it today. I know, but when does that come out? Episode 7. And then episode 12 is all me. Oh, good, good. Tune in. Yeah. And that's what we finished up today, episode 12. Good. But Dave, um, Davey Dave. Davey Dave. Davey you're one of my favorite people of all time. I like you on this podcast. There's not a lot of people we've had. Um, you're, this is your third time? Fourth. Third, but technically fourth because he said he did a live, live show. show. I did a live show. That's true. So technically fourth. Um, who? He's the most then, huh? That's not it? Because mm-hmm. Rosenbaum, what, three? Yeah. Two or three? Two or three. Theo Vaughn, twice. Mm-hmm. Twice. Stevie, but he doesn't count because it's like That's my brother, yeah. So I would say Dave. So you're our, you're our number one to God's <laughs> most frequent guest. Why, thank you. That's the only reason why I haven't started my own podcast. <laughs> <laughs> why haven't you started your own? Because I like coming on here. Good. And you still do the other one, the Chiching <laughs> one over there? The Chichi? Chichi. <laughs> what are you saying? Bart Geo, all those guys. Yeah, yeah, like I'll, I'll, yeah, I'll hop on to other guys. people's podcasts. I read, the, the, like, honestly, those guys, you know what? I, I go around town and people go, I, I saw you on um, Just Kidding News. And I go, oh, cool. You know what I mean? It's cool. I get a younger generation of people that watch it. I gotta say though, one of my favorite episodes of JK News is when you're on it, and then Joe said his father left him, and you go in your face. <laughs> and I have never laughed so, so hard in my life. Yeah, it is in his face. <laughs> With those cross eyes, I would love my kid too. Laser eyes. <laughs> Fuck that guy. Um, so David, good luck with your shrimp. Good Thank luck you. with your comedy. Thank you. And um, everyone, be safe. Good night, guys. What thank you for it? listening. Uh, make sure you. Uh, follow our sponsors Ridge Wallet Hims and Lisa for 10% off your slim uh, wallet go to ridgewallet.com and use the code belly and for Hims for $5 off go to forhims.com slash belly and for $150 off Lisa mattress plus a free pillow go to lisa.com slash belly with the promo code belly and have a good night (laughs) 